Hey guys, this is Colin Dean with Think Computers. I'm showing you around the WD My Cloud. This is a, uh, a new cloud device from Western Digital. Uh, it comes with a two terabyte hard drive. Um, I've already gotten it logged in and set up. Um, you can check out the earlier parts of the review for how the setup process went. Um, here you can see the capacity. I don't have anything on the drive yet. It gives you a nice ML analysis of the, the content of the drive. Um, Earlier I used this to set up my firmware. Um, my firmware was a little bit out of date, so I did that, did it automatically. Um, you can also set up more cloud devices very quickly here. Um, configure more users, um, add another share, as well as um, rescan for content periodically. Um, these controls up here allow you to do approximately the same things as the um, the front page, just with a little more context added to it, as well as you know, see a, a listing of users and the listing of shares, um, the listing of what devices are allowed to contact the device remotely. Um, one thing of note here is that you can change the share names and description and um, see the individual usage per share, as well as control user access. Safe points are like an automatic backup type thing, um, either backup to another another cloud device or backup to USB. Settings are pretty standard with the kind of time and date and, and uh, device name type things. Um, you can theoretically turn off remote access if you don't want um, to use any of the cloud features, um, as well as disabling Mac backups from a time machine if you don't have a Mac. Network settings are pretty standard. Um, I know that I will later, of course, be turning on SSH because I use SSH for everything. Um, and you can set your IP address if necessary. And it includes iTunes streaming and DLNA. Um, one thing that I, w I saw in here, I wish that this would actually show the name of the machine. This is the, uh, the Mac that I'm on right now, um, instead of just showing generic media receiver. Diagnostic type things, you'll be able to turn off the device because there's not really a power button on the device, as well as uh, setting up notifications and updating the firmware. If I had USB device plugged in, it would show up up here, and this shows a, a system log of sorts, as well as a help feature. It's a pretty uh, attractive and modern looking interface. Um, I like how um, reduced it is. There's not really a whole lot of settings. There's enough settings for the, uh, the settings geek in me to be um, satiated, but um, it does leave a little bit to be desired in the, the extreme things. Um, I, I wish that there was some kind of a um, code, or not code repository, but like a, an NT package system, although it might be what the smartware is. Um, although I, I don't see any any other um, mention of smartware anywhere in the interface, so I'm not really sure what that does. Um, it might be uh, just what the DLNA and iTunes are using. Um, so that's it. This is the WD My Cloud, and this is Colin Dean with Think Computers. Mm -hmm.